Well, hello, Born Bears. It's Miss Carney here. You might have noticed I'm not there at school. It's because I am quarantined. Don't worry. Right now I'm feeling great. I thought maybe I would make a little video so you and I could do music together, even though we're kind of far apart. We're going to start off today with doing some voice warm-ups using picture pathways. We've done this in the past. Basically, we trace whatever we see with our voice. So if we start here and trace this line, our voice will be getting higher. Let's try it. Ready? Try it again with me. Ready? Start with your voice down low and we end up high. Here we go. What if we went the opposite way? What if we started up high and then our voice gets lower? Let's try that. Ready? One more time. Ready? Go. Now let's see what our next picture is going to look like. Mmm, kind of looks like a big hill or mountain. Let's trace it. Ready? Other way. What if I flipped it over? Oh, now it looks like a big valley. Let's try it. Ready? Again. I wonder what the next one's going to look like. Kind of like a snake or a worm. Let's start here. Ready? One more time. Here we go. I think we did great. How about one more? Oh, I'm not sure what this makes me think of. Looks like shark's teeth and a big mountain to climb. I'm not sure. But let's try it anyways. Ready? One more time. Start down low. Here we go. There's only one more. Oh, we haven't really done one like this before, but I bet you can figure it out. Our voice is going to start up high, and it's kind of detached. They're not connected at first, so I might go, Let's try it together. Ready? Here we go. Those are pretty interesting. Now today I'd like to share a story about a little boy named Charlie, and Charlie is very adventurous. As a matter of fact, Charlie has traveled all over the world, and one of his favorite ways to travel is to get on a big ship and cross the oceans and go from one country or continent to the next. Now one day while Charlie was out sailing across the ocean, he saw this huge fish just cresting out of the water every now and then, and Charlie thought, I have got to catch that big fish. I would be so honored if I could take a big picture with that and show my family that I found the biggest fish in the whole wide world. Well, if you can imagine all that, then you might be ready for a song that's called Charlie Over the Ocean. It's an echo song, and it talks about his big, you know, adventure trying to catch a fish. So, can you be my echoes? When I do this, it's my turn. And when I point to you like this, it's your turn, okay? Be my echoes. Charlie over the ocean, Charlie over the sea, Charlie caught a big fish, he can't catch me. Hey, that was pretty good. Let's try it one more time. I'll be the leader, you be the echoes. I'm going to go just a teeny tiny bit faster this time, okay? You be the echoes. Charlie over the ocean, Charlie over the sea, Charlie caught a big fish, he can't catch me. Hey, hmm, thinking musically, what is that musical word that describes the speed of a song? Can anybody remember what it is? Here's a hint, it starts with the letter T. The word is tempo. Tempo describes the speed of music. 
What if I did our Charlie song again just a little bit faster? You be the echoes, okay? Here we go. Charlie over the ocean. Charlie over the sea. Charlie caught a big fish. He can't catch me. Now, if you were Charlie and you were sailing across the ocean, what other things might you be able to catch out there? Let's play a little game. I know I'm not there in person, but I've got some picture cards over here. Hopefully I can sneak them where you can see them. And I have some pictures of some sea creatures that maybe, just maybe, you could catch when you were sailing across the ocean. So I want you to think really hard of an animal or fish or anything in the sea that you could catch. And then I'm going to show you a picture, and let's see if we thought of the same one. Ready? Think hard. Three, two, one. What is that? A shark. Looks like a great white shark also. So we're going to change the words of the song. Be my echoes again. Ready? Charlie over the ocean. Charlie over the sea. Charlie caught a big shark. He can't catch me. All right. Think again. Something that you might be able to find and catch in the ocean if you were Charlie traveling around. Hmm. How about an octopus? Did anybody think of an octopus? They're pretty cool and creepy looking, aren't they? Well, be my echoes. Here we go. Charlie over the ocean. Charlie over the sea. Charlie caught an octopus. He can't catch me. All right, now let's think of another thing that maybe Charlie might see and try to catch while he's traveling across the ocean. Hmm. What are you thinking of? Did anybody think of a dolphin? Ooh. Dolphins are pretty cool. Let's try adding this word into our song. Ready? Charlie over the ocean. Charlie over the sea. Charlie caught a dolphin. He can't catch me. All right, I've got one more sea creature here. Think really hard. What do you think I might have? Hmm. Are we thinking of the same thing? I wonder. Ready? What is that? It's a sea lion. These guys can swim in the ocean and go on land. Pretty cool. A sea lion. Let's try adding this into our song. Ready? Charlie over the ocean. Charlie over the sea. Charlie caught a sea lion. He can't catch me. Well, that is our fun little song about Charlie. I hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned because there's more coming. Okay, guys, I have another song for you, but instead of just telling you the name of the song, I thought maybe I'd play it and see if you could guess which song this is. So, listen along and see if anybody recognizes this song. You ready? Ideas? I'm going to play it one more time. Think hard. Maybe you'll know exactly which song this is. Any guesses? It's the song, Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Now, does it sound familiar? How about we go through the words together? I'll sing a line of the song and you sing it back to me. Speaking of that, did you know in music, when you break music into different lines or pieces, sometimes we call those musical phrases. And a musical phrase is kind of like a musical sentence. So, when I talk to you about the phrases of this song, now you know I'm talking about the musical sentences. As a matter of fact, I had this little rhyme, maybe it's not a rhyme, but a little saying that goes, 
A phrase is a musical sentence. A phrase is a musical sentence. Can you say that with me? Let's try it. Ready? Here we go. A phrase is a musical sentence. A phrase is a musical sentence. Let's see how many phrases there are in the song. I'll start. You be my echoes, and we're going to count them. Ready? Here's phrase one. Be my echoes. Row, row, row your boat. Time for phrase two. Ready? Gently down the stream. Phrase three. Merrily, 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 merrily. And phrase four. Life is but a dream. Did you notice we had four musical phrases? And those were four musical sentences in that song? Let's try them together, okay? We're going to sing each phrase and show which one we're on using our fingers. Ready? Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Now I have a question for you. One of those phrases goes higher than the others. Is it phrase one, phrase two, phrase three, or phrase four? One of them, our voice goes way up high. Which phrase is it? Ready? Let's sing again and evaluate which phrase does our voice go the highest on. Ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. What was your guess? I think it's phrase number three. When we sing the words merrily, our voice jumps way up high. Let's sing it again, and this time when we get to the high part, let's just put our hands up. Ready? Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Did you find that high part of the song? One more time. Sing with me. And on the high part, let's put our hands up. Ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Now how about we add some steady beat motions in. Let's start with just patting on our lap and just going crisscross like this. Try the beat, ready and go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Where else could we put the beat? Hmm. How about on our shoulders? Let's crisscross up here. Ready? Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. You know, if we were actually in a boat, we would need a paddle for rowing. So I wonder if we could use this paddling motion to the beat of the song. Ready? Let's give it a try. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ooh, that rowing sure made me tired. I had to go pretty fast. How about you guys? Did you keep up with the beat? Let's try it one more time. Ready and go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Nice job, guys. I can't find my pause button. Pardon me. So now I'm going to take that same song, Row, Row, Row Your Boat, and I'm going to talk about two musical words that we don't often hear in our classroom. These words happen to be opposites of each other. Okay. The first word I'm going to share with you about is the word legato. Isn't that pretty? Legato. That's an Italian word, by the way. Most of our musical words are Italian, kind of like our tempo words, like presto and largo, and even the dynamics of forte and pianissimo. Well, legato is also an Italian word. And if you can see down here, it says smooth and connected. This is for music, and we would describe the notes sound like they're smooth and connected together. If I sang row, row, row your boat, and I sing it very legato, my voice should sound smooth and connected like this. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. 
Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Everything is smooth. Can you try that with me? Ready, here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Now our other musical word is the opposite. It's called staccato. Staccato means rough or disconnected sounding. It means the music notes that I'm singing aren't connected to each other. Almost like there's a little pause between every sound or every word, like this. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. I almost sound like a robot when I sing staccato. Can you try that? Remember, staccato is rough and or disconnected. The notes are not connected together. Almost like we're singing robotically. Ready? Let's try it. One. Two, three, go, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Now, remember these words were opposites of each other. Legato means smooth, and staccato means rough or disconnected. Okay? So, let's try our song two different ways. Again, let's start with legato. Nice and smooth. Let's sing it as smoothly as we can. Ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Now staccato, rough and disconnected. Ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. How'd you do, guys? Those are pretty interesting sounds. Staccato. Legato. Pretty cool. Now using that same song, Row, Row, Row Your Boat, I'm going to take your mind back to something we've talked about when we did our chicken dance the last couple of weeks. And it's the musical word form. Remember, form is basically the pattern that a song follows. And you might remember in chicken dance, it was A, B, form. Well, guess what? We're going to try to create an A, B form with the song Row, Row, Row Your Boat. You already know the A part of the song. That's the part that we sing. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Now, to jazz this part up a little bit, I thought on the A part, I could maybe play the piano while we sing along with that. So I'm going to set this down. Can you sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat with the piano and with me? Ready? I'm going to play this to get us started. And let's go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. That is going to be the A section of our song. Anytime we're singing that, think of it as pattern A in the form of our song, okay? Now we need to learn a B part, something completely different sounding. For this part, I won't use the piano. Instead, I'm going to use my lap to kind of keep the beat on, and you're going to do the same. We're going to create some words that sound something like this. Paddle your boat, paddle your boat. Paddle, oh, paddle, oh, paddle your boat. Paddle your boat, paddle your boat. Paddle, oh, paddle, oh, paddle your boat. You know, if we were rowing, we would need that paddle to get us around. So I thought, hmm, maybe in the B section, we could just have a little rhythm with that word in it. So listen to it again, and then you're going to join me. This is the B section. Paddle your boat, paddle your boat. Paddle, oh, paddle, oh, paddle your boat. Paddle your boat, paddle your boat. Paddle, oh, paddle, oh, paddle your boat. Can you try that with me? One, two, three, and go. Paddle your boat, paddle your boat. Paddle, oh, paddle, oh, paddle your boat. Paddle your boat, paddle your boat. Paddle, oh, paddle, oh, paddle your boat. Now, if we put it all together, we would need to go back and forth between pattern A, the singing, and pattern B, the rhythm part that we've created. 
Let's see if we can do it. So we're going to try row, row, row your boat with A, B form. Are you ready? Here's the A section. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Pattern B, ready and go. Paddle your boat, paddle your boat, paddle, oh, paddle, oh, paddle your boat. Paddle your boat, paddle your boat, paddle, oh, paddle, oh, paddle your boat. Time for pattern A. Let's see. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Pattern B. Ready and go. Paddle your boat, paddle your boat, paddle, oh, paddle, oh, paddle your boat. Paddle your boat, paddle your boat, paddle, oh, paddle, oh, paddle your boat. Great job, guys. Okay, guys, this next part is just a little bit of a funny thing for you and me. It's kind of like our little secret. We're going to take the words of row, row, row your boat and change them just a little bit, okay? So I want you to imagine your whole class in this big rowboat, and you're all rowing down the stream together. Your teacher's in the back like, row, row, and you get to the really big, rapid part of the boat, and the teacher wasn't holding on, so guess what? <laughs> They just flew out of the boat, fell into the stream, got soaking wet. Can you imagine if that really happened? Would you laugh? Would you throw them a life jacket and reel them back in? Well, that's kind of what's going to happen when I change the words of the song. It goes like this now. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Throw your teacher overboard and listen to her scream. I wonder what kind of scream they would really do. I wonder if you could sing those new words with me. Want to try it? I'll play the piano, and you see if you can sing the silly words with me. It goes... Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Throw your teacher overboard and listen to her scream. Ah! One more time. Silly words. Ready? we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Throw your teacher overboard and listen to her scream. <sighs> now, can we take those silly words and go back to the form of our song? Remember, our form is still A, B form. A will be singing and B will be that rhythmic paddling part on our lap. Let's see if we can give it a try. I'm going to back this up just a little bit. Ready? A, B form with the silly words. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Throw your teacher overboard and listen to her scream. Pattern B, one, two, three, and go. Paddle your boat, paddle your boat. Paddle, oh, paddle, oh, paddle your boat. Paddle your boat, paddle your boat. Paddle, oh, paddle, oh, paddle your boat. Pattern A. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Throw your teacher overboard and listen to her scream. <laughs> Pattern B. Last time. Here we go. Paddle your boat, paddle your boat. Paddle, oh, paddle, oh, paddle your boat. Paddle your boat, paddle your boat, paddle oh, paddle oh, paddle your boat. Great job, guys. I hope you like those silly words. But don't actually throw your teacher overboard. I don't think they'd like it. All right, bears. I hope you joined in and participated a little bit today. Again, I'm sorry I'm not there. I hope to see you very soon, but it'll probably be two weeks before I come back to school. Make sure you're doing your best job for our sub and Mrs. Brown. And I hope you guys have a great, great time there without me. I miss you a whole bunch, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.